Hi there, all you YouTubers out there watching at My Life as a Landlord. Thanks so much for joining in today. I am so excited to bring you today's guests, two people that are just amazing, and they've created this educational course that you guys are going to love. I hope you learned something today. Enjoy. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Well, hello there. Welcome to My Life as a Landlord. Thanks so much for joining me today. I am Dr. Jen, your rental guru. I'm so excited to bring you this education topic today. But before I do, I have to give a sad update for those of you who've been listening to me weekly. My dog, Mac, passed away last week. I know. He was uh, my great buddy, my great companion. So I must report that back to you guys. If you listen earlier in the library, you'll hear me talk about Mac. Unfortunately, he's in heaven. Okay, on a lighter note, I have had the privilege of working with many folks in the real estate industry and have come across these incredible guests on several referrals from people saying, you have to talk to these people. So Michael and I uh, are members of several real estate programs, one of which is called Multifamily Mindset, all about how to create teams and collectively buy multifamily apartment complexes, which can be very tough and intimidating, overwhelming. But along the way, I heard about these folks who are doing some just amazing work in this multifamily space, not only in acquisitions, but in management and leadership, the human aspect of landlording, which is incredible. Welcome to the show, Andrew Suarez and Cindy Harding. Welcome. Hey, what's going <laughs> so on, guys? Thank you for having us. Oh, we're so excited to be here. Yes, definitely. Super exciting. I was wait, I circled this on the calendar, like got to be ready to go. So thanks for having us. Absolutely. I'm so happy you're both joining me here today. And uh, in today's technology, none of us are in the same time zone. I'm in Hawaii. Where are you guys? <laughs> <laughs> I'll let Sydney go first. Well, I'm in Arizona. So sometimes I'm in mountain and sometimes I'm in Pacific. <laughs> Yes, I'm in a uh, sunny Southern California. Well, at least the last couple of days have been rainy with these crazy storms, but uh, born and raised Southern California. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now, how did you guys meet? Because you've teamed up, but how did that happen? Cindy? Uh, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> yeah, Chick-fil-A. We. I'm serious. It's so funny. It was actually, it's funny. It was Chick-fil-A, but go ahead. You can tell them the funny story about that. <laughs> well, we were at a conference actually, and we were on a lunch break and, you know, space, everyone's hungry and space is limited and we shared a table. I think that, I think that's originally how we met. Was we that's originally how it was. And, you know, just, you know, everybody knows Cindy as the asset manager and that's obviously my realm as well. So we, I was like, Hey, is this, is this table taken kind of thing? And just, you know, we started talking and chatting and, um, you recognize good energy, right? There's a lot, there's a good synergy between us. And we were just talking and chatting. And I was like, you might be somebody I want to become friends with. Like, are we, did we just become best friends? I think we did. And so we just <laughs> started connecting and chatting and keeping in contact. And then you see the same people at different conferences and you see people, you know, whether that's a Facebook group, a real estate Facebook group, and you see the same people putting out good energy and good suggestions and good things like that. So obviously we naturally just gravitated to one another. Love it. Love it. When I've, I started to learn more about your companies, you guys have the best names for your companies, high caliber asset management, outlaws, capital, yin yang asset management. I know there are others. And Cindy, I know you have the most interesting background from accounting and then fashion and now educator. You got to tell us the story about how handguns factor into all of that. <laughs> Well, I started out as an accountant. I did that for 25 years and I specialized in small business and then forensic accounting. So that really helps when you're doing multifamily. I did that and then I sold my business and I just thought I'm not doing any more numbers. And so I decided to create a purse line that would allow women to carry firearms safe and secure. And so I started uh, my purse line and I got certified as a firearms instructor. And I started training women uh, and men on how to shoot, how to train. And uh, I did that for five years, taught uh, how to get your permit, all the classes. And then the opportunity for multifamily presented itself. And I thought, oh gosh, I just need to go back to what I really know. 
You went back to numbers. <laughs> I went back to numbers. And um, in the meantime, we uh, invited our friends to join us that we'd been friends with for about 30 years. Uh, our kids grew up together and uh, we were trying to decide the name of our business. And we live in Arizona. So Outlaws Fit. And I was a firearm instructor. So that that fit. But really, the reason we got the name is our son is married to their daughter. And so the kids have in-laws. And when we got together, all the adults, we just referred to each other as outlaws. And so it became Outlaws Capital. That is awesome. That is so much <laughs> fun. I love it. Now, Andrew, we're not leaving you out of this. I understand you are a certified inside out coach. Now, what on earth is that? Yeah, so I'll actually give you a little bit of history. So <clears throat> multifamily has been with me for a very long time, actually. So I think this year will be my 15th or 16th year specifically in multifamily. I started in Southern California. Yeah, a long time. Um, I hide all the gray so you can't see. I keep my hair really short. But I started in Southern California for a uh, multi-billion dollar real estate company. Uh, so for those who are familiar with SoCal, it's called the Irvine Company. They're very well known out here, uh, one owner. But I started actually as a leasing consultant, where a lot of you maybe who's watching this are like, hey, I, I'm doing that now. Or, you know, I used to do that before. But I was a leasing consultant, worked my way up all the way up through the uh, the, the chain of command, became assistant manager, community manager, multi-site manager, went to a different company, uh, the Toll Brothers, which build homes. They have a company called Chappelle. They manage me there. So I got to do like equivalent to a regional position and just got a lot, a lot of experience managing 500, almost 600 units under my belt with multiple teams. And so I loved it. I really did love it. Um, over time, I just wanted a new challenge. I had the opportunity to work for Zillow and I worked for Zillow for a period of time. And then I got out of that, went back to property management. And now I'll just cut to the chase. Now I have, I own my own property management company. So a lot of things have gone through, through my life. And during that time, when on site, I was actually trained through uh, the, one of the companies, Inside Out Coaching. And I'll just give you a quick snippet of what that is. Majority of the time, Jen, most of the time when you're asking for feedback or instruction or you need help, your leader, your manager is telling you, you're going to do this and you're going to do that. But the whole concept of Inside Out Coaching is helping somebody with empowerment empowering them to under to figure out the solutions on their own because when you do that in leadership you're giving them the tools and the resources so that way they can think on their own on the next one so we've all heard the expression you can either give the fish to one somebody and feed them for a day or you can teach them how to fish and feed them for a lifetime and that's in its in its entirety what inside out coaching is and that's what i'm trained for wow that's incredible <laughs> holy moly so so we've got two powerhouses come together, just an incredible amount of experience, numbers, coaching aspect, and now you've designed an education program with for folks like my listeners, right? I have listeners that are US and Canadian landlords. They're going to learn about landlording, learn about all kinds of asset management, property management, but in a very different way, which is very interesting, but tell us why it's different, Andrew. Yes, absolutely. Because what we, let's start with the why, right? Simon okay. Sinek always says, start with the why. <laughs> why did Cindy and I become this multi or this group, right? We, hence the name is called Ying Yang. And I'm sure we'll go over that a little bit later, sure. but we complement each other extremely well. And the reason why is because our space right now is lacking in the education and the leadership of how to properly run properties. Mm -hmm. You see it in the news, another foreclosed property, another foreclosed property, another struggling property. We're not here to talk about that specifically, but we should identify and put light to the subject matter that a lot of people aren't trained to do this. In our class, we talk about how many times, Jen, have you been put into a position where you're doing really well, right? In your position, and then you're doing so well, they're gonna say, hey, Jen, we're going to make you a manager now. But by the way, you're a manager, but we're not going to train you. We're just going to put you in that position and good luck. Or you have a coworker who's in that same position. Like, hey, the, you were coworkers with them last week, but now that you're a manager and they just expect you to do that. 
Well, you're not really preparing them to be successful, are you? You're actually leading them for failure. Right. So why we started this was because they're not teaching this. No one's really doing this on a on a scale that Cindy and I want to do this. So we want to help operators, sponsors, all of the GP titles and names. We want to help them because at the end of the day, after you've acquired a, bit, a property, you got the funding for it. Guess what? What do you do now? And I know Cindy's going to talk about that a little bit later, the difference between asset management and property management. But Cindy and I felt it was imperative, and I use that word strategically, and it was imperative that we create an educational platform to help people, especially with that first year when you're, let's say you're a stay-at-home mom or dad, or you're coming from a field that has no experience in property management like myself or forensic accounting like Cindy, what do you do? But now you're in charge of multi-million dollar assets, and they just expect you to, again, go do it? Not so fast. Right. Fumble through it. That's, that's a little bit, it's a, it's a tough ask, right? No, no yep. training or anything. So Andrew alluded to it, Cindy, what is the difference between property management and asset management? Cause those are two separate things. I'm not sure I understand the difference. Well, when you are building your team, you usually have someone that does your acquisitions that does the underwriting uh, you know, you have people that do capital raising. This is all in multifamily. Uh, you should have an asset manager and that asset manager is on the team and they have a role from the very beginning. Once you sign that contract, the asset manager needs to be watching the T12 and they need to be watching the rent roll. They want to make sure that, you know, we keep the occupancy up, that the expenses stay the same before you even buy the property. And while you're doing that, your job is going to be to hire a property management company. The property management company, they're the ones that they take care of toilets, tenants, and trash. So we, as the asset manager, we don't take care of that. We don't do the leases. We don't go and take care of the maintenance and things. That's what the property management does. But our job as the asset manager as we work with the GPs, and sometimes we're part of the GP, we are the liaison between the them right. and the property management. We walk hand in hand with the property management. It's our job to make sure that the plan gets executed. Our job is to make money, to make sure that the property is making money, and that what happens is you don't have 10 GPs talking to the property management, telling them what to do. Mm. There's one person that's the asset manager. Gotcha. Okay. Well, th what's so unique about this program that you guys have created is this leadership factor. And how is that leadership factor inserted into the program? How does that work? So Cindy and I, when we were planning everything out, we wanted to make this very, like I said, we want to make it successful your first year, right out of the, right out of the gate. And something that's very passionate to me, hopefully it's portrayed already in this podcast, is that leadership, it literally goes so hand in hand with asset management. And you're probably thinking, well, how does it do? How does it go so hand in hand, Andrew? But what I what if you think about it, you are representing the ownership and you're working directly with the on-site management, just like Cindy mentioned. So when there's an issue. And there are going to be issues in property management. I'm telling you, for all those who know who are watching this, who are property managers, you guys are like, you're like, preach on, brother, preach on. Like, there is so much. <laughs> you should literally, I keep telling people, we should create a soap opera. There's just stuff out of this world that happens that literally tune in today for today's, you know, episode of the craziness that happens on site. So when that craziness, Jen, when that happens, who do you think they're going to come to? They're going to go to the asset manager and expect some guidance, some, what do we want me to do in this situation? So if you're fumbling and you don't know what to do, and you're, uh, 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 maybe that it's not going to work out. So I give the analogy, imagine if you have an incident at your home and there's a fire and the firefighters show up and they're just running around. They like with chickens with their heads cut off. That doesn't really show leadership. It doesn't show like your controlled environment. But when they do come on, you see them, they're calm, collected. They can give you direction and guidance. That's exactly the same thing when it comes to the leadership of asset management. If you come to me, Jen, with an incident, I'm going to say, okay, I know exactly what to do. This is what we're going to do. 
step one and da, 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 I'm going to walk you through this process. And you're going to feel like, wow, that's amazing. Like, thank you so much. You know, I really appreciate it. And then they execute. And then the same thing with the meetings. There's constantly meetings that happen every single week. And there's monthly walks, inspections, and uh, life and safety inspections. There's so many intricacies of asset management. Mm -hmm. You want somebody who's going to give you that guidance and who can help you. But like mm -hmm. I said, we we teach all of this in our course. And the, the students that have taken it already, they're like, Andrew, this was like amazing. Thank you so much for implementing this because it really does help. We were going to let somebody go on site, but the techniques that you taught us, the leadership, there, she's amazing now. Like she com completely changed and she's so much more open to ideas and open-minded. She was closed-minded before. Mm -hmm. And the techniques that you teach us, we don't have to let go of that management company anymore. We want, we love her and she loves us and she understands us. So we go over all of that in the class. Fantastic. Well, tell us more about the, the nitty gritty about the classes, because I understand you have one that's starting soon. How much does it cost? How long is it? You know, what's the time commitment? Give us the details of the whole thing. Well, it starts March 6th. It is $39.95, but we do have a $500 off coupon. We really want to make it so everyone can attend. Anyone that is interested in learning asset management, we want them to attend. Uh, we do keep the class small though, uh, because we want people to be able to have hands-on. So it is real life experience. We have an owner's packet that we send to the students where they actually are going to dive into the financials. They're going to look and see what's going on, you know, in the general ledger. What are we doing as far as CapEx? What are we doing on unit renovations? And we give them the templates that they need. We teach them how to create the agenda when they get the reports on Monday mornings, what's happening at the property. Our the whole goal for the for the 12 week course, it's 12 weeks, two hours a week is instruction, one hour is asset management, one hour is leadership. And what we want them to do in the 12 weeks is to have a successful first year. We don't want them to be able, you know, we don't want, we want them to avoid the steep learning curve. We want to be able to say, we've invented the wheel, basically, and <laughs> just, we don't have to reinvent it. And then we do have on Mondays, we have instructor hour. And basically it's a Zoom where I'm at my desk working and they can jump on and ask questions about their homework. They can ask questions if they didn't understand a concept. It is something that builds every week. And at the end, we give them a timeline, like this is what's due, you know, in this month, this is what's due this quarter. So they don't have surprises. They know when things are expected of them. And uh, we've had everyone that's taken the class has walked away going, I learned so much. And they didn't know what they didn't know. That's the, that's the best part. They didn't learn by surprise. Amazing. I love it. And I've seen your syllabus, which is very, very detailed, which of course, of course it is. That, that's fantastic. Now, can can just anybody take the course? Do they have to be, you know, what are the requirements for them to take your course? So I, I talk to a lot of people who are interested in the course and I always like to ask questions like, what is your, what are you prepared? Like, what are you preparing for? What is your engagement level? Are you, do you have the time and flexibility to do this? Because at the end of the day, Cindy, at our core, one of our value, like we want to make sure we're open, we're open minded, we're trustworthiness. Like, is this the right course for you? And if it's not, then we'll tell you and we'll refer you to somewhere, someone who might be better off. If like, if you're only want to do underwriting and that's it, then it would, it's going to be a stretch for us to say, hey, like we would love for you to take this class. But if your heart is in asset management and you want to understand all the different parts of asset management because there's a lot guys this you're going to be with this property you should know this th minimum probably three five seven years mm -hmm. so this is not a light light lift this is a heavy lift for your time and effort so i i, I talk to you through it i kind of give ask some questions if i feel that's something that you're going to benefit from it i would love for you to take this class and absolutely you can take it um we but again we want to make sure this is the right fit for you you can give the time commitment because, and we do give homework. That is something we, we keep this at a high level of like a college course level. Mm -hmm. So we have a syllabus, we have homework, we have instructor hours, and we're very professional. We're adult. So 
uh, a friendly little thing. If you're off camera, I'm going to call you out. I'm going to say, hey, Jen, I see you on your phone. I'm going to write you a little message. Or I'm going to say, hey, Jen, I didn't see you in class last week. What's going on? Like, I want to make sure our heart is to make sure you come out of this class saying, this class is worth double. Like, we feel we are way above the lot, you know, what we were when we first started. And so that's what I mean by not just anybody can take the class. We're going to ask you questions. We want to make sure your engagement level is there. Your time commitment level is there as well. And if you can tell us that it is, we would love for you to join. Love it. Love it. Now, how many times a year, like how often do you run this course? If people can't make it on March 6th, I'm assuming you're going to run it again, but how often do you do it? So I'll answer this. I wasn't sure if Cindy was, but we are, uh, we are planning to do it. It's ever it's 12 week course. So at pretty much three months, we would love to do, let's say three courses a year. There's going to be times because of holidays. We notice that, you know, there, there's Thanksgiving, Christmas and new year's that kind of plays a little bit of a mix into things. Um, we realize there's different events whatsoever. Personally, professionally, there's things that happen. So as of right now, we're going to be starting our next class. If you uh, haven't written it down, do that now, March 6th, Wednesday. And then after that, I have to look at my notes again, but it's going to be pretty much after that 12 weeks, then we'll probably take a week off and then we'll start the next 12 weeks and probably take another week off and then start the next 12 weeks. And then that should if I did my math correctly, that should put us right before that holiday craziness break where everyone's like, okay, sure, we're shutting down. We got Thanksgiving, Christmas and all that. So we, we try to plan it uh, accordingly. Amazing. And, and if they want to learn more about the course, tell, tell us again the website that they can uh, learn more about it. Yep. So it's www.yenyangassetmanagement.com. So it's Y-I-N-Y-A-N-G, assetmanagement.com. Perfect. Now, we've talked a lot about the course. What other things are you guys up to other than the course? We'll get back to the course in a minute. <laughs> but let's. what else are you guys doing? <laughs> so much. Cindy, you want to take this one? I know Cindy and I have a lot going on. But uh, if, if you want to take it, if not, I'll be happy to. Same. Well, I do asset. I do asset management. So that is, I have nine properties right now that I asset manage. Uh, also, I'm part of Outlaws Capital, so we're you know sponsoring deals. So we have that going on. Uh, I will be a grandmother for the first time in May. So that's hey, around the corner. So that's going on in my personal life. Um, although Andrew can probably beat me on that. Um, but you know, there's there's a lot going on. I. I love what I do. That's why I'm so passionate about people understanding asset management and really how to make a property work. You can take a mediocre property and using the right tools, you can make it profitable. And you can take a great property and have a really poor asset management and not make distributions. And right now there's a lot of properties in distress so I also do third-party asset management. So some I'm on the GP, some I'm not. I'm just a third party where I just help them out. So I, I stay pretty busy. I do it all day long, every day. What about you, Andrew? What else are you up to? So uh, we, yes, we're very busy. We we did mention the class, but I do want to offer a, another resource, if that's okay, Jen. Sure. Uh, there are people that reach out to me. And again, during this um, stage of just asking questions, people say, hey, Andrew, I want to take the class, but maybe just right now is not the right time for X, Y, Z reasons. And that's totally fine. Sure. So Cindy sure. and I absolutely do offer free classes or free instruction or free mm -hmm. information. And I definitely want to highlight that because there are some people, again, timing could be an issue. It could be a financial requirement that you have somewhere else. So on Mondays, on our Facebook Live, Cindy goes on, I go on with her, and we do something called a day in the life of an asset manager. <laughs> so we talk about all the things that are going on, real life stuff. We're not giving you theory. We're telling you what's going on in our current roles and our positions. As Cindy mentioned, she has a ton of properties. She's doing asset management. Literally right before this call, she's doing a bunch of reports. And I'm literally, it's the first of them, you know, early in the month, I'm doing all the rent collections. And we talk about things like leasing, renewals, resident events, uh, 
lease expirations, what are we doing? Evictions. I had I had an eviction recently. Uh, I put a three-day notice. So we're telling you like real life stuff that's happening in, in real time. So that's something you should absolutely 100% take advantage of. We also have our Facebook group that we're, we're responsible for as well. So Ying Yang Asset Management uh, has a Facebook group, totally free. So again, we want to give resources because at the end of the day, our, one of our core things is we just want to help you. Yeah. We just want to help you become successful. Like I said, if you want to join our class, the difference between the free and the and the the paid really is that you're getting the free stuff is a little drips, just little drips once a week. Here comes a little bit. It's going to help you. When you take the twelve week course, you're taking everything in a much struck in a very structured way for twelve weeks, two hours every Wednesday, four thirty to six thirty Pacific or five thirty to seven thirty, depending on your time frame your time zone. But again, it's it's very structured and we're giving you like real reports. So something we didn't really go over earlier is we're not just telling you, well, maybe this could happen or maybe this could, no. Cindy's actually just getting a Sharpie and, and crossing out um, property names. And you're looking at real life budget variance reports. We're going over renewals. We're going over budgets, like uh, delinquency reports. You're seeing numbers, like really good stuff. And you can't just discount that. Like that is an amazing amazing contribution that she's giving to you and to me and to everybody who's part of the class. So I have to say on the air, thank you, Cindy, for doing that. Cause you didn't really have to do that, but all the stuff that we have planned guys, we have a lot of stuff, the scorecards and all the unit trackers and all the tools that we're going to provide you. That's part of the pay course. But again, we want to help you. So join on the Monday calls and take a look at the Facebook group. So that keeps us busy. That keeps me really yeah. busy. Yeah, I was going to say ahead. one day uh, we did a, in the day of the life of an asset manager. We do it at four o'clock a mountain time. And I had been doing uh, IRA valuations that day. And so I was talking about it and I had a couple people contact me and they're like, oh, my gosh, I didn't even know those were due. <laughs> and how do I do it? Where do I find the form? <laughs> and so, you know, it was just like, OK, this is where you find it. This is how you do it. So, I mean, people are watching and they do learn from it. And then I do have a calendar that um, I'll send you the link for it. I do two hours on Thursday and it's, you know, any, any students, anyone that is in uh, multifamily, uh, if they just need encouragement or if they're specifically asset management, you know, I talk with them about it. So I do open my calendar up for that to help them out just however I can. I'm usually multitasking, you know, I talk with them and, you know, we find out how we can help each other. I'm a very big on connections. I had someone ask me today, you know, who is my mentor? Uh, when I was, I was on a podcast this morning and I'm like, I, I don't really have one. I think everyone can be your mentor. I think that you can learn something from everyone. If you're open to it, there's the opportunity to always learn. That is amazing. Now, You've got yin yang asset management as a Facebook group, but what about the day in the life of an asset manager, your Monday calls, 4 p.m. Mountain? If someone was interested in getting on those Monday calls, how would they go about doing that? So Cindy does go on Facebook Live. So if you're not following Cindy Harding, do that right now. First thing you do is go ahead and follow her. And then we are going to be working on the Zoom link as well. So if you go on to the yin yang Facebook group, Okay. We are going to be creating the Zoom link specifically for those Monday calls. Perfect. So people can get on that. Yeah. And, and I, I do have to say, there. Cindy is spelled C-Y-N-D-E-E. -E. C-Y-N-D, because I know a lot of my listeners are audio only. They're not looking at the YouTube mm -hmm. on this necessarily. Um, but we do have, we will have all the contact information um, on our website, mylifeisalandlord.com, following this, this podcast. Uh, wow, you two. Uh, people of action get stuff done. Wow. <laughs> Take action, everybody. Take action. That's always. the biggest advice I give you. Well, and speaking of action, every podcast I do always has a call to action. Most people have no idea that they're supposed to be budgeting 3% of their annual income to education. Now, that could be things like coaching calls, ma magazine subscriptions, educational courses. But if you do the math, there is actually supposed to be some kind of an annual budget for your personal education and improvement. So my call to action today is 
do something education related. Really, we would like you to check out Yin Yang Asset Management and check out the upcoming course. And I know there is a discount code. Cindy, I'm going to let you say the code again. <laughs> so it's capital C H T. Um, and then the number one, two, O, two, four. Okay. So capital C H T one, two, zero, two, four. Did yes. I say that right? Perfect. Perfect. Now, Andrew, you asked me if there was something that we could do as a call to action and turn me on my head. And so I said, yes, we could do a second call to action. What's your call to action, Andrew? <laughs> For everybody who's listening, whether I don't know which channel you're listening this on, because there's so many great channels that you're probably tuning on, but make sure weekly Tuesdays, my life as a landlord. If you're not following on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all the socials, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, do that now. Do yourself a favor. I love how Jen mentioned that you really should be investing in yourself. And that's so true. If imagine I challenge, I challenge you to think about this question. Would you want to be the same person you were a year ago or two years ago or three years ago? I'm willing to bet the answer is no. So the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. So if you want to empower yourself, be a better person, whether that's for a husband, a wife, a mother, a father, take action, guys. Do that now. It's a simple little things. The simple little things you do every single day. I challenge myself to be 1% better every day whether that's helping my wife with a specific task that she needs, helping the kids get out of bed and making sure they're doing their prayers at night. Whatever that personal thing is for you, take action. Don't You know you don't want to be the same person you were a year ago or two years ago. So what does it take? It takes action. So make sure you're following along. Follow Jen, all those social medias I just mentioned, and do yourself a favor. If you love that, tell, tell a friend as well. Oh, thank you guys so much for joining me. Cindy Harding and Andrew Suarez, I'm so happy that you are here. Um, let me just do my wrap up and then I'll let you guys say goodbye as well. Um, for all my listeners out there, my US and Canadian landlords and tenants, let me know your comments and questions by emailing me, learn at mylifeasalandlord.com. Facebook group is also mylifeasalandlord.com, but you better believe I'm going to be jumping on Yin Yang Asset Management as well. So you'll see me in those circles. Uh, just know that your comments and questions and everything I see going on in Facebook creates the next podcasts and the resources. Uh, if there's other guests that I should be having on the show, let me know. There is a podcast guest application on the website, mylifeisalandlord.com, among many other resources. Thank you so much again, Cindy and Andrew. I appreciate you guys being here. This was Thank awesome. You, Thanks so much. It was so fun. We appreciate so it. Thank you I'm so much. I'm so glad you're here. Um, all the links to everything is going to be on our website. Uh, so if you if you missed any of that or you're driving in your car as you're listening, uh, all the links to get signed up and the Facebook group is going to be on mylifeisalandlord.com. Uh, join me next week for episode number 62 with guest Lee Nugent, who started as a brand new landlord, has now graduated all the way up, has gotten his rentals into property management and is now a lender and has written a book. That's next week. I will see you wow. there. I think I need to connect him with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take care, guys. Thank you. Okay, stop recording.